hello. I'd like to introduce my guest, Helen Wong. Helen is the AMBETS commander of Post 34, the Golden Gate Post in San Francisco, but she has recently volunteered for a new job as AMBETS Career Center Team Leader San Francisco. Can you tell me what that is, Helen? Hi, Cheryl. It's Hi. good to be here again. Um, several years ago, Activision um, Call of Duty Endowment awarded funding to five major veterans groups uh, to help veterans find jobs. And AMBITS National was one of the five that received funding. And from that, it trickled down to our California site. I just recently retired from working as an occupational therapist. And in fact, after 39 years, Army trained that I've stepped down from being paid to doing something that I now volunteer and unpaid <laughs> okay, to do. And I've just come full circle, going from helping veterans while I was on active duty um, get positions in work therapy, to rehab them back into where they could be a productive uh, part of society, to now I'm working with veterans who are outside of the military doing the same thing, helping them find jobs. And it just seemed like a natural fit for me to be doing something that I enjoy doing, wh why I really got into occupational therapy in the first place. And actually, okay. just a little aside here, that's actually how I met you, uh -huh. was through you volunteered mm -hmm. for our Veterans Employment Correct. Committee uh, about 15, 20 years ago. 18 years ago, oh, to be uh, exact. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and um, what we used to do was put on job fairs locally mm -hmm. throughout San Mateo County, mm -hmm. charge employers to come, uh, present their jobs, and we, we really have helped many, many people get jobs. But now there, there is the issue of having a job, and mm -hmm. then there's the issue of having a career. So can you tell me what AMBETS is doing, helping okay. veterans figure out what they're going to do next in their career? That's correct. Um, anybody can get a job. And I want to say that with this new granting of funds, we are able to set up a career center in San Francisco so that we can use the laptops that were given, uh, the printers to help someone come in, take a look at their job skills, what they've done in the past, their military experience, and turn it into a, a nice resume. And then from that point, refer them onto a job. And I've gone to several job fairs since I just started doing this a month, about a month ago, mm -hmm. um, talking to employers, finding the employers who are most readily um, likely to want veterans on their team. And I've found several that said, we can't find veterans who want to be hired by my company. And it's kind of astounding to me that here we are, we've got employers looking for veterans to work for them. Well, isn't part of the reason they can't find the veteran is because the veteran doesn't have the training that mm -hmm. that particular employer need, which is why the Call of Duty Endowment said, you know, let's give mm -hmm. these grants to veteran service organizations mm -hmm. that are going to help us yeah. do this. Um, that's probably one of the things. And what I also see in San Mateo County and San Francisco County, we have veterans. But again, like you said, they don't have the job skills. They're, um, they haven't been employed for a while for many. You know, mm -hmm. Many have been on the streets for quite a while. The ones that I'm seeing in San Francisco live in the Tenderloin. They've had bad luck. They've had bad health. They've had whatever you call it. It's not working for them. And so because of the endowment, we're able to help them through giving them transportation money, giving them even food cards so that they can at least have something to live on while they're job seeking. And we've, you know, we've been able to have them come in. They come in every day. They can come in five days a week. They can come in one time a week. They can call me, email me, whatever, uh, to let me know how they're doing in their job. Um, so really, partners. you're like a, a coach. You're, yes. you're, you're really coaching these people. Mm -hmm. You can do this. You know, uh, we can help you with the, the training. Mm -hmm what types of training or what okay. what is it that they can get from the AMBITS Career Center? Okay, right now we have had um, requests for the more technical training. 
Okay, so we've got PMs, is it, is it PMT? Uh, we've got the certification that helps them get higher the high uh, the IT jobs, mm -hmm. and like like um, Cisco needs certain type of software engineers. Um, we're, we are surrounded by a lot of high tech companies. Well, we're right here in the heart of Valley. Silicon Valley, so and it's you know. expanding. It's expanding rapidly. I think, and too, the other part that, that we're finding is that veterans can't afford to live in this area, and the ones that need the jobs may not necessarily be able to come here and find those jobs because, again, it's like, for example, Solar City. It's one of the employers I talked to. They've got jobs galore, and they're, they're not especially, they don't have to be especially, you know, technical jobs. They need installers. They need people to come in, the drivers, whatever. And she's having problems finding veterans who will take their jobs. But then again, when you look at the high cost of living in our area, unless you want to live in the streets or the shelters or wherever, then it, it's hard to get started to be able to get that job, that good paying job, and get settled in before you know, things happen. And that comes back to emphasizing to veterans, you know, there are employers that are looking to hire you, right. but you need a specific skill set, right. especially here in this area that right. produces you know, we have Google, we have Microsoft, right. we have all these high-tech companies yep. right here, That's and right. they are desperate to hire veterans. Mm -hmm. But it's the skill set. So how yes. do you, trans? you know, transitioning your military to civilian skills is a good thing, mm -hmm. but sometimes you need that additional right. certification. True. And one of the things that we're attempting is to link up with some of the online colleges. Mm -hmm. Last year, we did have of sponsorship of Mind Leaders, which is the, the major uh, online courses, but that funding um, changed. So this year, we're going to look at it a different way, and it's going to be case by case. If they need that skill, they need that, we're going to find a way of getting that training paid for, the certification paid for. Whatever it is, if they have a need and it's going to lead to employment, certainly we're going to look into it. And that's, you know, that's my goal, is to be able to place more. I mean, was recently, you know, I've just started less than a month ago, and from my 15 veterans that I've enrolled into the Career Center, we've um, sent two out, at least two out on jobs, and the others are looking. Um, they have you know, some special needs. Some have mental health you know, problems, so it's going to be a little bit harder for, to, for us to place them. But once they, they hook up with the VA, all the resources that you were talking about, EDD, everything, the, um, mainly to get stable housing is another you know, part of it. Once they get their VASH housing certificates. Let's talk a little bit about what, that, what VASH is, so okay. for people that in the audience may not understand that term. Okay, it's the VA equivalent of the Section 8 subsidized housing. And in San Francisco, you have to go through the VA, get um, registered and then certified, and then you're on your own to go find the housing. You have the certificate, and in San Francisco, it, it's very limited how many places are vacant that they can afford. So, yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is, but it's a challenge that can be met mm -hmm. because there are so many community-based organizations mm -hmm. and veteran service right. organizations that are collaborating and stepping up to the plate and trying to provide services. I mean, really, sure. this sure. is exactly what AMVETS mm -hmm. is doing. And one of the things that they also do that I'd like for you to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about, because it's something that I think veterans aren't aware of, and that's Chapman University and what they do. Okay. We have legal assistance. We partner with Chapman University School of Law. And for those who cannot afford to have legal assistance, um, it's provided to veterans free of charge and we had given them a grant and it started out as a law school project where the third year law students assisted veterans in their claim work but then it's evolved to the point where they're doing multi-million dollar claims and the most recent one was the or is I should say is the Air Force majors who were discharged from the military as they approach their 15th year oh, that was illegal Okay, but that is something that AMBITS um, has taken on with, you know, Chapman's actually lead in um, going into a lawsuit 
to find out, you know, to, to reinstate the, the officers, actually, because they have nothing. You get discharged by your 15th year. You have to start all over with nothing, no benefits, no retirement. And so it's something we feel strongly about that you know, that shouldn't happen to a career officer. A career officer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the idea is veterans, here's my, here's my plea to you to join a veteran service organization, American Legion, AMVET, VFW, VDA, Vietnam Veterans of America, DAV, Disabled American Veterans. It's how we get our benefits. It's how we got the GI Bill for education. It's how we got the GI Bill to buy a home. So veterans don't feel isolated when there are groups and veterans groups that actually really genuinely help you. So Helen, do you have any closing comments you'd like to make? I'd like to say that AMVIS is one of the few active veteran service organizations that actually address college transition. We have a college transition program and that's been really, really beneficial. Right now it's in Southern California, but it's going to expand up north. And again, it's going to help us with our careers. Great. Okay. So do you want a job or do you want a career? That's your choice. Thank you for being a guest on Veterans Health and Veterans TV. Thank you.